I'm telling you, I, I, I get around gripers and grumblers and go, oh, how long, how long? I could, we better change our attitude. That's right. Now, if we have a good attitude, it'll really, really help us. Wow. Okay. Our attitude will determine our altitude. That's good. Really, look at Paul and Silas in prison, beat up, locked up, but they had a good attitude. They prayed and sang praises unto God. Wow. And God got them out. Yeah. That's what we got to do. Instead of letting circumstances and situations go. So our good. emotions, we got to let God govern. So good. And we're supposed to have an attitude of gratitude all the time so that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will keep our hearts and minds. Mm. It's sad when so many Christians are on these antidepressant pills. Yeah. Well, you know, no, I don't know. <laughs> God said the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Here's what the Lord told me. He said, you tell my people you can't you cannot medicate anxiety. You have to repent of it. Wow. Because wow. he said, be anxious for nothing. So if you're doing something he told you not to do, it's sin. That's right. And yeah. so I think a lot of times what it all boils down to, we've got double-minded people. Yeah. The Absolutely. Bible said a double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. Absolutely. So let's go to seed on Jesus. Absolutely. I'm, I'm doing a book on the centricity of Christ. Now you say, let's go to what on Jesus? I'm well, sorry, what let's you go to seed. Okay. Let, let, you know, that's what they call it if you just focus okay. on one thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm writing a book about the centricity of Christ. Everything that was made was made for him, by him. And man, uh, we've got to get back good. to the fact the whole universe holds together because of him. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's by him, all things cohere. And I'm telling you guys, we, if we'll get back to him, our confidence will build.